It's Jade and I'm back. I wanted to discuss the new Game of Thrones episode. It is finally, finally, finally back on the air after waiting, what, like two years for this to come back on. Game of Thrones fanatics are ecstatic that it's back on television. And I want to quickly give a rundown of my favorite moments of the latest episode, which is season eight, episode one. The name of the episode is Winterfell because they come back to Winterfell, finally. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Most of these are in no particular order. And I've also um, written up a, written the same thing basically up on my blog. So if you wanna check that out, it is lilacdream.com. If you're new to this channel and you like this content, consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, <laughs> Bran and Jamie. Um, first of all, I love the fact that Bran now has the ability to know who is coming and when they're coming, when they will arrive. But Bran petty ass <laughs> sat up all night in that courtyard waiting for jamie even though he knew the exact moment he would arrive i thought it was hilarious and the look on jamie's face when he fi finally saw bran after all these years you after pushing him out a window was just classic so absolutely love that moment in the episode um number two let's see oh some great reunions going on in this episode guys first of all love 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 loving the sam and john reunion since they are best friends they actually are more like brothers and i say this i feel like sam is to john what robert was to ned they grew up together they came into manhood together they faced horrible tragic things together and um it was just so nice to see them finally reunite after the time that they've been um apart in the the game of thrones world or or um atmosphere or whatever so that was cool to see love seeing that also the reunion we've all been waiting for um aria and john i really ex honestly expected a little more from the way that they did this because those two out of the whole family those two had the closest relationship and i'm drawing from the books as well um they're the two that had um their father's looks more so than um catelyn's um all the rest of her children were red haired um and they had the look the tully look they call it the tully look they had the look of their mother whereas Arya and john both had the look of their father. They both kind of felt like outsiders in their own home. John, of course, because he was a bastard. Arya, of course, because she was a lady or a, a little girl um, being brought up in this world where she's being trained to do things she never ever wanted to do, like being trained to you know, sew and stuff like that. And she wanted to be in battle and, and fight and things of that nature. So, um, and then just seeing them together, it was very reminiscent of their goodbye scene in the very first episode of the total series. Um, except as Arya says, um, he was taller back then, of course, because she's grown up now. And she's basically almost the size he is. So, but anyway, I love to see it. It was a great reunion. I feel like it could have been better. I almost feel like... Um, it was more, it pulled on the heartstrings a little more when um, he reunited with Sansa, which is funny because um, that was like a couple of um, seasons ago. Um, because those were, they were the two that actually got along the least in the household. So all of the rest of them were pretty chill as far as John went. Of course, him and Arya had the closest of relationship, but... Um, he was treated pretty well by the rest of the kids, especially Rob, because they were so close in age. Um, so Rob, I don't, Rob didn't consider him like, oh, bastard, get over there, get out of my way, whatever. That was not their relationship or whatever. And really, it was mostly Sansa that was like, oh, no, he's a bastard, get him away from me. But anywho, <clears throat> love that, love that moment. 
thought it could have been better thought it could have been executed better but still love the moment um let's see next oh i have been waiting on this moment for years john finally mounting and riding his dragon i call it his dragon because it's the dragon that's named after his birth father um <clears throat> which is ragel and of course we all know by now that his birth father was rhaegar targaryen <clears throat> And ever since I knew that John was a Targaryen, I knew that one of these days he would be up and mounted on that dragon and flying off with Danny somewhere. And it was so much fun. He looked like he was on a roller coaster. <laughs> Poor John. He was like, okay, how do I do this? Or whatever. But <clears throat> loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved that moment. And I love that he took her to the place where he used to hunt as a child. And it was very beautiful. Even though I don't do coal, <laughs> I don't do coal, but it was very nice, um, the place that he took her. And I just, oh, it just did my heart good to see him up on that dragon. Just the same way it did when I knew, um, just from reading the books, <clears throat> and I hadn't gotten to this part in the books yet, it's because George is being slow. But um, just from reading in the books, when Danny mounts her dragon and rides it out of the the coliseum when the 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 sons of the harpy are attacking her i was waiting on that moment for forever and it was just ah oh, so satisfying when it happened so yes loving john bonding with his dragon so yes and the top moment of the night for me john finally finding out the truth of his birth may i present to you aegon targaryen sixth of his name protector of the realm king of the seven kingdoms yes he is the rightful heir to the iron throne though i, I love 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 john's character arc because it seemed to me that the less responsibility that he wanted the more he got or i should say that um the 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 more john tried to be like okay no i'm not in it for the power i'm not in it for whatever i'm just in it to help people i'm in it to save people i'm in it to beat these dead zombie ice zombie things that's coming the more he said that it seemed like the more responsibility was heaped on to him you know what i'm saying he started out a bastard became lord commander of the night's watch had to do that whole situation with the wildlings or whatever and now to find out that he is the rightful heir of the seven kingdoms is just awesome to me i loved it. i had goosebumps the whole part of that that part of the um episode i had goosebumps the whole the whole time so i'm just i'm very interested to know how everyone else is going to receive this news so yeah we got a lot to look forward to in the coming um in the coming episodes couple honorable mentions <laughs> loving the rivalry between sansa and danny sansa is not here for it and i get it man you know after all that she's been through and after all the people have been through period like it's tough to be inviting strangers into your home and thinking okay are they really gonna be here and be helpful or are they just gonna end up like killing us or you know what i'm saying like it's it's brutal like this world is brutal and you gotta watch out you gotta watch back anyway um the next honorable mention for me is um glad that Tormund Giants Bane and company Bear Dondarrion and um, Dolores it's, it's either Ed Tollett or Dolores Ed I can't remember which Ed um, made it out from the wall after the destruction of it by the um, ice dragon if you want to call it um, Viserion he is now under the uh, beck and call of the Night King who is the Night King who is the Night King um so it will be interesting to find that out and they have to get to winterfell to warn john that uh yes this army is coming even though they know because da -da -da -da, we got brand the know all see all here and also lastly um <clears throat> them finding the little lord ned umber tacked to the wall you know the night king got him and all his people and tacked him up in the wall in that weird pattern now the patterns have always intrigued me i don't know what exactly they mean to me i feel like they haven't been completely explained 
Um, but somebody did point out, and I can see it, that the pattern actually kind of looks like um, the Targaryen symbol with, with, with the three-headed dragon. The dragon has three heads, the three-headed dragon. You see the three heads, heads fanning around in a circle, and then fanning down back around are the, the three tails. And it kind of looks like that when they do that. So does that mean the Night King is a long-lost Targaryen? Does it mean he hates the Targaryens? Like, what does that mean? So, hopefully, all of that will be answered by the end of this season. But I'm just excited for it to be back. You guys, let me know what you thought of this episode. Hit me in the comments below. Tell me your favorite parts, what you thought, all of it, guys. Like, love this show. I could talk about it forever. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. Again, if you're new here, you like this content, like, subscribe, share, hit the bell icon to get the notifications of when I post. Usually Mondays and Fridays. Um, I do want to say quickly, uh, thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I had a craft show last weekend and that pretty much just took all my attention. So anything that I wanted to do as far as my journaling and stuff, it just got pushed to the wayside. And now I'm in the mode of just trying, I'm exhausted, like that whole thing exhausted me and i'm just trying to catch up so anyway i'm hoping to have something um to do with my journaling posted pretty soon so stay tuned for that guys please let me know if you watch this show um let me know what you thought of the new episode and i will be back and i think i'm gonna try and do these every um new episode i've been watching them with my cousin or whatever and then like i text my friends and stuff like it's a whole to do okay it's a whole big to do in my family anywho so that's it guys i will catch you in the next game of thrones episode or maybe my journaling whatever um you're interested in on this channel i appreciate you guys for stopping through and i will catch you in the next video talk to you later bye